What do you think is best? Uh, B12 capsules or injections? And is injection suitable for everyone? What's my opinion on B12 shots or versus tablets or pills or patches? In my opinion from cycling, we do everything by injection. EPO is injected, growth hormones injected, steroids are injected. I would say if you're going to do V12, you be better off, in my opinion, injection, because it bypasses everything. It's just in, it's in your system. You know, like when you're doing speed, you can bomb speed in your mouth, you can inject it. When you inject it, when you, it's there. You know. So yeah. I would say you bypass everything. A lot of the natural hygienists would say, oh, it's just not good injection. Right? But the natural hygiene community is dead and boring. They never do anything. Most of them are like, oh, <laughs> so they just, I understand there's a big stigma with needles, but it's not an issue. Some people, um, they have problems with it. From what? From I've, I've given out hundreds of B12 shots over the last few years. The only time I had one issue was one guy, he had a paranoia of needles. He had a fear of needles. So I learned to screen people first. Are you scared of needles? If someone is, I get to lay down. So this guy, he's like a big German guy, 90 kilos of ripped muscle, and it's a machine. So I gave him a shot, and he passed out. He's <laughs> like, boom, he's heading the desk. And I thought he was Frankie, you know. So I wake up, and oh, his eyes are rolling back in his head. So I grabbed his feet, put him above his heart, and he's like, you come alive. Because what happened? I said, you passed out. He said, yeah, I'm a bit scared of needles. <laughs> I'm sweating. I'm like, okay, I'll let my last and I should screen people first. That's the only time I had an issue. Otherwise, you might get a bit of a dead, up, dead arm or whatever. The B12 shots are very safe. You do your own homework on them. Look online. Make your own conclusions. Forge your own beliefs based on your own conclusions. You don't have to listen to me or follow me. Just go, oh, yeah, I'll entertain that and do your own homework. I would give B12 shots to my friends who eat raw meat and they've still they've got, they got B12 deficiency after like five years of eating raw meat. And they get the test. They're still low in B12. They're like, oh, it didn't work. But of course it doesn't freaking work. Just eating meat's never been clinically shown to reverse a clinical B12 deficiency. If you got low B12, get on the shots. If you don't want to do tests, get on the shots anyway. It's safe, it's vitamin B. It's like a vitamin C tablet. You don't need them if you want them, do them. You know? If I had kids who didn't B12 shots for sure. I'd probably train their asses off. <laughs> is it unnatural training your kids up? Probably is, I don't know. But that's just what I'd do. <laughs> any chemists, pretty much any chemist will have them. They cost about 30 baht for 10. And it's cyanocobalamin. Everyone's going to be shooting up tonight in the hotel. We've <laughs> <laughs> got syringes all over the floors. <laughs> <laughs> and the hotel staff goes, see, they are drug users. Look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Eddie Farms pretty much sells them. The hospital farmers can sell them. What do you ask for? B12 shots, the ampule. Where are we going to get them? Any hospital pharmacy. Okay. Same hospital pharmacy that sells all the steroids in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. take them home, Maybe online. Problem? No, it's a I got them online. You can't oh, take them off your own. It's not a steroid. It's like online pharmacies. Oh my. Which is crazy how they're so policed in the US. Like in the US. Like in, the like in Australia, it's over the counter. Oh, Thailand, over the counter, US. Watch videos. If a, if a pharmacist mm -hmm. sells vitamin B12, they just go and get a fine. How often? It's crazy. How often do you do this? How often do you should do B12 shots? Look it up on the net. For me and Freely, we do it once a month, once every two months, a thousand microgram shot. A good book to read if you want to get more educated on the subject is Could It Be B12 by Sally Patchlock. Could It Be B12? <laughs> I believe. And it's, you know, simple stuff. But it's just a vitamin. I'm not telling people to get on hormones or steroids or whatever. I mean, people do the contraceptive pill for 10 years and they say, oh, that's, that vitamin B12 is dodgy. <laughs> I'm like, B vitamin. It's in, you know, it's alright. It's in dirt. Right, some people need it, some people don't. Do a course of B12, see what you think. Safe. Yeah. 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 General, I like knowing my handlebars are untight versus find out they're not. I like, I get a little torque wrench, yep, that's untight. B12 shots, yep, they work. Sublingles, maybe work. I don't know. People are scared of needles from like eight year old kids giving themselves insulin shots every day at school. Okay. So, it's just a needle. I used to be scared, but. The first time I gave a B12 shot, Myself in 2009, I always passed out. <laughs> I was sweating and shaking. I'm like, how the fuck up? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you old kids, 
of this. It's just a vitamin. It's just a piece of metal. Just do it. I said myself. How to do it. What's that? You explain how to like really Look up and into. It's basically in, in your muscle. It, I, I can't explain it because people go, in your eyeball, right? <laughs> Look it up on YouTube, intramuscular B12 injection, and it'll, it'll give you all the directions in there. <laughs> when you want to do a B12 shot, you're better off looking online hmm. when you got your needles and you're sitting in your room, and then you've got that memory in your head. I don't want to show people, go, yeah, I think I remember that. And then they're like, doing it in their main vein or whatever. So, <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's good, but I want you, if you want to do it, do it yourself and look on YouTube first, watch the nurse do it. So then you, you're clear 100% what happened versus go, six months ago I was in Thailand, it's pretty hot. I think it was, I think it was your left nut or something. <laughs> <laughs> that's the way to do it. When, it. when the time is right for you, look online to get the right directions. And then you, you've got it sorted. Because you might have your, your needle in your, 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 take your, your cap off the needle, you chuck it on the ground, your dog steps on it or whatever, then you pick it up and I just, it's all right. Yeah, so you've got to do a clean hygiene. Look on YouTube and watch the nurses do it.